All right, man. Uh, Jordan Lucas makes Eminem officially an honorary Negro. So let's talk about it. We back. Good fella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Check out our music and entertainment playlist for more videos like this. And basically, he told uh, Nick Cannon to stop rap jumping Eminem. He got Charlie Clips and I guess some other people out over there to rap against Eminem, which the beef is 100% pointless. Um, they arguing about a woman neither one of them got. All right. Um, Eminem claimed that he had a six month uh, relationship with Mariah. Nobody seen nothing. No picture was take, taken of them. Um, he can't prove it. He was just saying, you know, Mariah, he had an obsession with her. Right. And he probably did. Nick Cannon end up picking the ball up, marrying Mariah. Therefore, Eminem is mad because the woman that he wasn't able to lock down or probably never been with uh, married Nick Cannon, a guy that was lesser than him, lesser than a star to him. Um, had less money than him, and pretty much that's where the rap beef stems from. And ain't that stupid? You know, all the women in the world that look better than Mariah go across the globe, the continent, either any of the continents, you can find a woman look better than her. But this is what uh, Jordan Lucas said, right? Hey, Nick Cannon, you better stop jumping uh, my Negro. I'm just using that word. Marshall before me, Roy before me, 50, Royce, Crooked Eye, Lloyd Banks, J. Cole, Kendrick, Logic, Tech Nine, Big Shine, and King Lowe's get busy on your ass because pause, keep playing. At the end of the day, like I said before, you know, how can you make Eminem an honorary Negro? All right, you from Boston. Look up Mark Wahlberg rap sheet and that tell you everything you need to know about the racial tensions in Boston. It's very still, it's damn near segregated there. I wouldn't be surprised if they had white and black water fountains in the city of Boston, right? So he from Massachusetts. He can't be too far from that, wherever he's from, all right? And for him to go out here and say this, this is this is why you can't be pro-black, right? Name me another rap battle where uh, everybody came to somebody's defense. Did anybody come to Jay-Z defense? Anybody come to uh, Nas defense? Really, did anybody come from for KRS uh, defense when he went against MC Shan? LL Cool J when he went against a uh, 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 Cool Mo D, you know you keep going on and on. Like really, did anybody really go out there and say, "Oh, we got your back"? No, it's a rap beef, beef one on one. Anybody jump out there for for Meek? You know Meek was going against Meek Mill was going against a a, a, a foreigner, a Canadian, a. Eh? Anybody jump out there for Meek? Like you got like I'm looking at social media. One minute people being pro black and. Oh, you know, the white man trying to hold us down and blah, say, blah, blah, say this, blah, say that, right? You know, you're getting that all of a sudden, all the black people jumping out there for Eminem. Oh, get off my nigga Eminem. Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. Like, name me something that Eminem did for the hood, bro. Real talk. Name me something Eminem did for the hood. Nick Cannon uh, uh, is, 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 was uh, employing a whole bunch of black people on his Wild and Out platform. Come on. He, he said he was going to pick up the Dr. Sibby, uh, uh, uh documentary from Nip. You know what I'm saying? All the things that Nick Cannon did for the culture, though, and people really willing to turn on Nick Cannon uh, for a white boy. You know, they ain't did nothing for the culture. You know, 50 Cent really go out there. Well, they would say, well, you know, 50 Cent was blackballed, and Eminem is the only guy that gave him a chance and, and all of this. Well, I was 50 Cent blackballed because he was sitting down in New York tearing everybody down. It's the reason why they didn't want to let 50 in. You know, but you see 50 Cent tearing down all these black people, black women, black men, you know, on his Instagram post, tearing down Floyd Mayweather, the whole situation. But when Eminem go out here and Nick Cannon said he giving head to another man, he called his lawyer. Like, ain't that, ain't that like, ain't that lame? Now imagine if Eminem said, well, I'll call Nick giving head into a chauffeur and, and, and then Nick Cannon causes 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 a lawyer to file a defamation lawsuit or or to scare Eminem. Imagine if that got out to the media. What would they say? And last time I checked, if you the if you the battle rap king, if you if you really destroyed like MGK and he didn't, he lost that rap battle. You know, you destroy Benzino, right? And you just this monster. Why do people gotta come to your defense? Why do Obi Trice gotta write a record? Why do Fifty gotta gotta come give his two cents in? That's what I'm trying to figure out because I ain't never seen the black community go out there in no rap battle and defend Jay, or defend Nas, or defend Tupac, or defend Biggie, or uh, defend LL, or defend Cool Mo D, or defend, defend KRS One, or defend MC Shan. 
Who? When, when did you see so many people jump into rap beef to defend a black rapper? You don't see it. I can see if, if Nick Cannon was like Steven from Django. He was tap dancing and, and butter biscuit in and all that. I would get out by yeah, y'all right, man. I'm like, yeah, Nick Cannon, man. Woo. Nick Cannon, no, he, he Steven from Django. But come on, all, all the things that Nick Cannon did for the culture, though. All the black people that he employed and, and battle rapper and comedians that he got a, got a, gave, got, gave a start to. That's what I'm telling you, man. You can't be pro-black today, man. And black people live legitimately sitting here caping for Lil Eminem. Eminem ain't had a good record in so long, bro. And you got Jordan Lucas making him an honorary Negro. Come on. A dude that got a, a, a cut on his eyebrow. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, dude from Massachusetts, man. Ain't gonna volunteer Royce to fall. Oh, this, that guy, that guy, this guy, you know, go against Eminem. Like, come on, bro. Me and Tech Nine and, and this and that. We gonna get on Nick Cannon. We gonna get on Nick Cannon. Like, real talk. Like, Nick Cannon, some like, he didn't did something wrong, bro. Nick Cannon didn't did more for the rap, hip-hop community, for the black culture. The Eminem, well, tell me what Eminem done for the black culture. Please do. Tell me what Eminem did for black people, man. You know what I'm saying? When he came out here and did a Donald Trump uh, 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 freestyle, when he probably even, he probably fucked with Trump on the low, too. He ain't no different from Kid Rock, bro. I'm telling you, he ain't no different from Kid Rock. But y'all know what it is. Let me know what y'all guys think. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out to the email if you got business questions, require response, ship, video requests. Want to make a donation, just share the video. Don't forget to check out our music entertainment playlist. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate the love support. Share the video. We gone.